Will your faith stand under fire? What's so key here is it's pretty, it's pretty easy to follow God when everything's going well. It is. It honestly, it's actually better. I don't, I don't know what other people are even doing, really, because it's kind of like you have friends, you have fellowship, you know, your family's doing well, you're healthy. You're like, of course I'm going to worship God. I mean, what else are you really going to do? Like, how many times can you go to Disneyland? Two or three times a week, right? You can't really, like, you got to, it's kind of cool. When, when everything's going well, your faith, your relationship with God is good. It's only when it starts to get under fire that the true foundation rises up. What did you actually build in there? Because you're all going to experience a faith crisis moment, and it won't be just something bad happens. The faith crisis moment happens when it's something that should not have happened. When it's someone who should not have been the one attacking you. It's the tragedy, the loss, but not just, you know, a, a, a loss that we sort of expected. No, it was the loss that should not have happened. It was too early. It should, it's the loss of a job when it was ran by Christians. You were the best person for the job, and they're the ones that fired you. You know, you just, it's the that kind of stuff where your world gets turned upside down, that's the faith crisis moment. You don't have a problem when fair things happen. It's when the unfair happens. I don't get knocked off my feet and become depressed until I'm shocked by what just happened. Most of the time, I'm kind of expecting certain things to happen, but then every once in a while, you know, it'll be that person that was just out of the blue who just shouldn't have been them. And that's when I'm knocked off my feet, right? So we have to, can my faith stand up when the world is falling apart around me? When there's a faith crisis moment happening within me? That's the story of Saul versus David. Now the normal response is Saul. It absolutely is normal. Everything he did, I look at it and go, that sounds like me. <laughs> I don't like it, but that sounds like what I would do. And so that's very normal. Can I start to move to abnormal? David was abnormal. Daniel was abnormal. Daniel's standing in, in the midst of lions, and somehow his faith gets stronger. That's weird. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego standing in a fire, and their faith is getting stronger. That's not normal. You know, Noah is in a boat, or he's building a boat for about a year. That's abnormal. When he's in that boat, it's abnormal. Like everything that we read through the Bible, we have Jonah. Jonah's inside of a well, and what he should be doing is going, God, what are you doing? That should have been the next verse. That's not the verse. The verse is, all right, God, what do you want to do? I'll be your missionary. And then God spits him out in a place he hates. He's like absolutely hates the people and goes, all right, I'll do it. His faith got stronger when, his, when he was going through the trial. And that's where you go, that's not normal. So am I normal or am I abnormal? You want to be abnormal, which is sort of odd. Only in church would you hear stuff like that. Can you, can you, when everything's falling apart, when the person that shouldn't have but did, can you still grow stronger? Stronger. 